Hi, my name is Jake McCormick, Business Development Manager here at Clever Touch for Enterprise. I'm based out of a London showroom, so I see customers on a daily basis. Something that I hear all the time at the moment is about getting people back into the office. So commonly people will ask for a video conferencing room. So I actually see it as having a room that's video conferencing enabled. So for example, I don't believe we use a room 100% of the time for video conferencing. We also present, we collaborate, we use an interactive screen to actually annotate on documents as well. So I wanted to show you a couple of ideas. I can go into my files. So very quickly from here, I can use the internal storage of the panel, or I can actually go into my cloud drive. So from the cloud drive, I can open up a Google Drive or a OneDrive. So if I go into Jake McCormick, go into my demo folder, double press, and I can start presenting to you. So I could be walking around with a USB clicker, having a USB in the panel, or I could go up, I can just swipe from left, swipe to right. So say for example, some, we're having some ideas, we're brainstorming about this in particular slide. I can now use my floating toolbar, so I can throw this across the screen to get rid of it, or I can use two fingers and it will always come back to me. So opening up the toolbar, I can use the pen tool. Once I use that pen tool, it's essentially gonna put an acetate over the screen, so I'm inking over the presentation. So we move our, our pen tool, we change color to blue, and then we can start annotating on the screen. So I can annotate on the screen, use the back of my hand to rub out, very nice and simple. So we'll make some signs here, global manufacturer, and we'll also highlight the word global. Quite often in a corporate environment, there'll still be a whiteboard or a flip chart. At the end of these sessions, you'll have everyone going and taking a picture. You'll have a glare through the window. But we've got multiple different ways of saving this now. So we can save it directly to the panel. We can save it back to my cloud drive. Or what I can do is I can generate a QR code. A bigger room, we can enlarge a QR code. So from here, I can scan this with whether it's an iPhone, a Samsung phone, and it's going to go directly to my device as a JPEG. The power of this is I can now WhatsApp it to a colleague, text message, email. It kind of really opens up the flexibility of how I want to start sharing these notes. So we can get rid of our annotations and then we can kind of go through the presentation again. A big thing with interactive screens is the user adoption. A lot of people will get into this kind of part of a screen and they'll get lost. We tried to make that as easy as possible. So kind of using our floating toolbar, we've added a simple home button. I refer to this as the button we used to have on an iPhone or a Samsung that if we ever got lost, we'd press the button and we'd go straight to the home screen. So we've kept this familiar. We've added this function in, press the home button and it will take us back to the home screen. I can now go into a whiteboarding session and this is where we can actually do the brainstorming. We can start collaborating. So exactly as we did with the annotation on the presentation, I can start writing and I can use the back of my hand to rub out. So if we write clever touch, then I can use the other side of the pen as a different color. I've got multiple different tools with my pen, whether I want to make that a thicker, or thinner, change our colors, or we can use kind of a pencil or a brush tool as well. We've made the whiteboard as simple as possible. So you've got a pen, a selector tool, so you can manipulate images, documents, PDFs, a bin tool, or for flowcharts, we can actually start adding in some shapes. The hand tool, which it actually creates as an infinity canvas. So I can actually start moving my content around. If I run out of space, or I can enlarge it. So this could be our kind of welcome page to the session. From there, we can start adding multiple different whiteboards and we can start jumping between as many as we like. So we'll go to our second whiteboard. But this time, I'm gonna go back to the home page and I'm gonna to go to the browser. So say we're talking about in the room, in our meeting, about Clever Touch's partners. If I use my floating toolbar again, we actually have a snipping tool. So by using the snipping tool, I can drag this box, or I could take the whole page if I wanted to, and then we're gonna send that into our whiteboard. 
So we've sent that to our second whiteboard. So we can now manipulate this from here. We can make it bigger, or we could just use the Infinity Canvas. So from here, we can start talking about our partners, such as Logitech, Jabra, and we can talk about it in a bit more detail. The same thing about actually saving your, your whiteboard, often people will take a picture of it on their phone. We have the QR code feature, so we can export this directly to our phone as a JPEG. Not only will it just send one JPEG, it's going to send a JPEG per actual whiteboard slide. We can, we can start exporting this. So say, for example, we wanted to come back to it at a later date, we could save it as a whiteboard. So it's something we can keep working on. We can save it as a PDF. So someone can have a look at it, make revisions, send it back. We can send it as an IMG. So lots of different ways. You can send it as an email. Very simple, send it to your email and you can kind of continue when you're back at your desk. Once we're done with our session, we can choose to save it to come back to it at a later point or if it was just a very quick ad hoc session, don't save and then we're back to our last slide. Keeps it very nice and simple.